So I just got to Costco. I'm about to go inside, see if they got some medicine. And then we're gonna head over. I'm probably gonna stop in Ticket Mac because I wanna get um, some more cheese. And they usually have cheese and stuff like that in there. So hold on a little quick. And I'm gonna test the card, test the card. Freezing out here. But yeah. So I'm gonna vlog a little bit while I'm in here. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Happy, New Happy New Year. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm gonna get some medicine. And then we're probably gonna get some masks out of here too for Sunday when the kids go to kids' church. Um, they're gonna need some some medicine. Ooh, we have some vitamin C. We have these on sale right now, so I'm gonna get a pack of this. And then we're gonna get some. It's kinda awkward uh, vlogging in here because I don't have my tripod, so we're gonna get some vitamin C and then I'm gonna head over to, like I said, TJ Maxx. So I'll see you guys once I get out of here. Um, hopefully they have medicine um, that we're looking for. If not, we'll try a different store. Oh, I just got out of the Costco. Um, ended up getting way more than what I needed. I got the girls some chili and some crackers so they can have that for lunch. And then I got some other stuff like vegetarian snacks for Randy. I'm more so vegan, so I brought me a fruit, uh, a, a few fruit and vegetables. Um, so that's what I got. It's raining. Okay, so let me put this stuff up. I'll put you guys right here. Oh. So I just got to CVS. I'm about to go see if they got some medicine or whatnot. So here we go. It's kind of the cold and flu area. And it looks like they don't have anything. It was kind of annoying. What the heck? They don't have nothing. Let me show you guys this area. TJ Maxx and they got these cute like little planners and you got stickers so I might get one of these. Um, it's this one and then this one. This is more of my style. Okay so I just got a TJ Maxx and I got um, this planner which helps you plan out you know your days, your money, It's an all-in-one type of planner. At first, I was just gonna get a money planner, but I didn't, I didn't look like my what I was going for. So I'm back home, but like I was saying, I just want to be able to um, save and spend money like wisely. You know, since that is my responsibility that Randy and I discuss, um, just managing the household, and so. I am going to practice that by not making every vlog about going out, getting something. For one, I don't have it like that. And for two, you don't want to, you know, make people feel the pressure like, oh, I need to go out to buy that. That's not what this channel is going to be about. It's not something I promote, honestly, because um, I know I've been in that situation where I watch somebody and then they say something they got on Amazon and then I make an excuse for why I need it. So 2023. And this is going to be the last time you hear me refer to change because of the year. But 2023, moving forward, I won't be able to spend like that anymore. And I don't want to 
promote that on my channel. So if I go somewhere, most likely it's gonna be, you're gonna hear me talk about it being in the budget or you're gonna, it's gonna, it's not gonna just be nonsense. I'm never going in the store again and talk about, I won't be saying, oh, let's see what I can get or I need something and I don't know <laughs> what I need, so yeah. I didn't get in the house because Honor will be waking up soon and I need to breastfeed him and I've been trying to pump again because he's getting older and I want him to be able to breastfeed but then also have milk stored up for whenever, you know, if I go out longer or, you know, once he starts eating other foods, incorporate in milk. So that's pretty much why I'm doing that. So I'm going to head in the house and not make this a car vlog, but more so. Yeah. So I went to the grocery store and I went to TJ Maxx and I bought a planner that was not really necessary to buy, but I'm gonna make it a reason to keep track and plan this year because I buy planners every year, but I don't use them. So this year we're gonna use them. I'm charging Randy's ear. I took Randy's ear pods out of the car. Um, at first I was going to throw away his cases because he's been saying he can't find them, but I just found them on the side of the door. So I'm going to charge those and then you're going to see me show you guys what we got from Costco. And basically when I shop at Costco is for every two weeks and if it can go longer, that'll be great. But that's how we shop grocery shop. We shop every two weeks. I know I just went to the store, but we didn't go fully grocery shopping. So this time I got stuff for the girls and for Randy and I knew, um, dietary uh you know things that we got going on so oh i feel like i got a fever um so i'm gonna go to the gym to sweat out this sickness and i need to just stay consistent rain or shine so i'll see you guys when we get in the house i just got home so i got some bananas i got some evergoods for the girls they like these with oatmeal in the morning i got some asparagus for me I got them some chicken thighs so I can do this for the grill or um, in the oven when the days they want to eat meat. I just got them some chili. So they're gonna have this right now with some crackers. I got them some chili. And then I got Randy some vegetarian spring rolls. I got um, some, I usually buy fresh blueberries but they really like when I put them in the freezer so I just bought some frozen blueberries, and this is also good for Honor when he's teething. Can put it in his little teething um, little toy, and then I got some frozen uh, mixed berries for Randy smoothies, and we got some orange juice and kombucha in the car. But I have to go back to get that. Got some Ritz crackers, and this is for tuna uh, tuna snack for the kids, and then also they can eat some with the chili right now. I got some almond butter biscuit. Uh, snacks this is just for randy and i so you know you want something sweet but healthier so i got that and then i got which they didn't have when i went last time i got that artichoke and jalapeno dip so good and so we're gonna have some of that and then i got some sweet potatoes for me and whoever eats them So I'm making the girls some chili um, that I got from Costco right here. And I'm heating this up for them for lunch. This is a beef chili, so obviously I won't be partaking, but um, I'm gonna give them that with some crackers. And then I'm making Randy some vegetarian egg rolls and I'm gonna have me some fruit. Okay, hold on. So these are the egg rolls. I got from Costco. We never tried them before, but it um, comes with 18 egg rolls or spring rolls. So, let's see how you open this. Are you trying to, trying to show your art? They wanted to wear a mask in the house. Let's be fine. Let's be fine. 
Or it comes with sauce too. Yeah. How many you want? Two? They small. Or, no, they're not really small. Yeah. All right. You want cracker? Okay, hold on. How do you open this? I looked on the recipe, they actually don't require parsley, and then Randy's doing the garlic for me. So this is the recipe right here on my iPad. I'm gonna pin it down below. We got our cauliflower and then our vegetable raw. So the next steps, this is not an end detail. This is my first time making it. But the next step is you add the garlic for 30 seconds just to get the flavor going. Then you add your cauliflower, your vegetable raw, and you let that cook. And then you're gonna uh, you're gonna blend it all after. So I just put the vegetable broth and the cauliflower in, as you guys just saw um, with the time lapse. This is not an in detail video, but I will link the recipe down below. Um, so right now I have the, it, it has to simmer for um, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna wait until the cauliflower gets soft, then you blend it. But while I'm waiting, I'm gonna add some black pepper because it says you can do black pepper and salt. But I have vegetable broth and I don't know how salty that's gonna be. So I'm just gonna add some black pepper for right now. And then they said add the salt, uh, you know, as you taste before serving. So, add it a little black pepper. Mmm, smells good. So we're gonna let that saute. I'll show you guys how it looks. Hi, Ani. Ani. this little boy look at ivory down there this is how it looks it didn't start to boil yet so we're gonna let that cook that looks really good already and then you're just gonna blend it and eat the recipe right here i found it on pinterest but um it got you it has all the stuff so this is how it's gonna supposed to look and then you eat it with like some bread but i'm making mine with pita chips but it's the video i guess Oh no, it's a different video, but yeah, they have the, the ingredients, each step, um, visual, and you know, but that looks like it's gonna be really good. Yeah. So it came out like this, looks so good. Yum, yum, yum. Get up now. So I'm gonna try it. Mm. It's so good. Mm. All right, guys, so I just finished the soup. It was good. Um, Randy and I, the girls, ate it. Except for Ivy, but June ate some. Me and Randy ate some. And I like it. I'll be making it again. I'm super tired. 
journey so i'm gonna rest i'm gonna do some homeschool with the kids and yeah but i just want to close out this video and th tell you guys thank you so much for continuing to subscribe make sure you give this video a thumbs up and um i'll link the recipe down below um i found it on pinterest it's not an in depth in detail video it's just showing me making it um it's my first time making it and so everybody's not feeling well so we're gonna chill out and relax and i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna do some school with the kids so i'll see you guys in my next vlog